everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I have some new information for you and a, a, do a few different models to go through. That way you can get a clear opinion of what's going on out there. Uh, let me see. Bring you to Wendy first. Anybody can go to Wendy. If you go to the GFS on Wendy and you go to Sunday and just press play, and if you put on pressures right here, you'll see the system start to form up and get picked up by Wendy as well. It's about a week away, a little over seven days, seven and a half days. Uh, it forms up, according to the GFS, and it moves towards Jamaica. Uh, good news for Jamaica, though. Okay, it looks like it heads uh, westward after this, and it don't do uh, all the bad that, that we saw this morning. Some, some thunderstorms do hit you. It will be some winds, but I'm showing that it does get stronger after it moves away uh, from Jamaica. So that's a good thing right there if it just gets away from Jamaica. Now, before I show you the GFS model, I know that's the one that y'all seen. There's updates on it. I want to bring you to Tropical Tidbits. Now, if you go to Tropical Tidbits and you go check out the GFS, you can see everything that's going on as well with the snow. I know I heard a lot of y'all reading y'all comments uh, that y'all was looking at wondering about the snow as well. But you can see that the path that is picked up on Tropical Tidbits, uh, according to the GFS model. There it is there, and it does like a, a Wilma effect, 2005, and just curves at the Yucatan, and that was it. That was the last shot. And it curves all the way to the Yucatan and stops. And that is pretty much the last shot that we have. I mean, it moves from the west to the east, and it looks like it goes around Cuba on this shot, uh, but it looks like it does clip maybe the west part of it. But that's pretty much how it's showing now, because there's two paths, right? There was three. The third one got knocked out. Here, this one is GDPS. This is another model. Now, this one, this one's kind of different. This one kind of chug lugs across, barely making it. Here you go. I'll let you see it for yourself. We had to 162 hour, and I'm moving up every six hours. You can see the time of date here is Tuesday. This is the 20th, and a low pressure is picked up once it hits. Uh, 113, uh, 1013, it does get picked up. And you'll see it moving on and off, being picked up. That's because it stays kind of weak according to this model. It, like I said, it chug lugs across uh, Jamaica. And then it goes towards Cuba and it starts forming up a little bit better uh, as it leaves Cuba. Now, this is on the 22nd, still going across. It's moving very slow according to this model. That's a GDPS, just so you know if you didn't hear me the first time. Then it starts getting down to 1,001. It starts growing once it gets towards the Bahamas. And that's on the 23rd uh, on a Friday, Shannon. I know you're over there. Now let me bring it to you to GDP, uh, GFS, and then I'll bring it through the uh, live model feed. And I'll show you the intensity that's going on this. Now this is when it's getting picked up, guys. It's 162 hours. 162 hours is just over a week 7.5 days i believe it might be 7.6 162 into hours into days a little less than seven days i was close and if you move this from the 20th every six hours that's the 162 uh, feed you'll see that the pressure starts picking up uh, on the GFS and it does show that north to northeast movement towards Jamaica, towards the Cuba, towards Bahamas like it showed this morning. But then it showed that uh, the, the system gets picked up and pulled uh, northwest uh, towards the Gulf, towards the Yuc to Yucatan just like you saw in Tropical Tidbits just a minute ago. Gets down to nine, 981. Now, Jamaica, 981, 980 is hurricane status minimum uh, millibars. But like I said, it gets down to 969 and strengthens as it pulls away. And that is on the 23rd. And here's the evening of the 23rd for you. And it pulls away. 952, it starts getting stronger. 943, 936 on the 25th. 929 on the 12Z. 929. Guys, 929 is cat 4. Look right here. 920 to 944, cat 4. And 
that's pretty serious. I mean, you're talking Cat 4 strength. You're talking approximate 132 miles per hour winds. And that's, that's very, very potent winds right there. But as it goes across, you see it moves across by Florida. I'm sorry, that's, that's the last shot. That's where it goes. That's about as far as we can see. And it gets down to 928 even. And look at that center. A well-defined center on that. And that is on the 26. Still moving. And then it starts weakening a little bit. 934, 37. And then right here is where it gets smacked uh, with the cold front. And then it makes the eastward push. Loses intensity pretty quickly. It goes 948, 52. It starts weakening. And then that's all I had on there. And I'll show you here what, what was left. Because the only thing you're missing is the impact. Now, as it goes on the 22nd, we'll say the 21st, because that's tropical storm, tropical depression strength already just right there on that one. That's 37. That's very close to tropical storm, the bright white. Now, as you see, it moves. This is Jamaica right here. You can't see real, real good and clear it up. Here's Jamaica. Here's your Cuba. There you go. Now you can see it has drop, tropical storm, the orange and the reds, that's, that's 50s, and then that little spike of yellow, that's the hurricane force. Uh, but it gets stronger after it leaves, so it looks like it just be tropical storm effects uh, so far for you. Then as it moves north, northwest towards the Yucatan, it gets spikes up really strong in intensity, and it got a, a 112 right there. And this is 10 meter winds. This isn't, you know, wind gust. This is actually damage on the ground what you feel and by the time it gets to the 26 it's going to be moving towards the yucatan and then making that eastward push this is where it gets hit with the cold front you, you can see it happen and then it pushes it out and the last shot we get is right there and that's what we don't know what happens after that and that's just with the update so it is refining it better and according to this you have tropical storm tropical depression winds from tampa all the way to Miami on the edge maybe some close to 50s the whole southern state in the 20s but this is hurricane force this is uh 10 meter winds that's what you get on damage on the ground but let's back it up some right about there and if you look at this you'll see right before it gets to the Yucatan it gets strong and but then it, that's when it gets to it's it's weakest like they had at 926 and then it went away, right? So here's the 920, I'm sorry, 929. It went all the way down to 928, matter of fact. And when it got to the 928, 120 miles per hour, and that's just rolling around. But that's what we have for it now, guys. That's, that's the update. I'm showing that it's going to move. Still going towards Jamaica, and it looks like it forms quick, Jamaica. It looks like it's just not on track on the 21st. And by the time we get to the 20, 22nd, it's already in your backyard giving you problems. So this is one of the reasons why I, I do this, guys, because it's just because we don't know where it's going to pop up. Far range, yes, but we all know that, or we're starting to learn that there's going to be a problem in this area. And it's going to, it could be big, it could be small. Uh, hopefully it's the one that chug lugs across and then don't do any damage. That would be really great. <laughs> but let me get this going for you. I want you to see what it looks like when you got it in full motion. Plus, you can see everything else around with it. But it looks like the cold front does do its damage. I mean, what does that look like to y'all guys? Please let me know. It looks like the cold front smacks it. And as you can tell, 93L is doing nothing. I'm going to pray for this storm to become a fish storm the best way God can find how. Hopefully, you can get it to come up to the Yucatan and curve right in so good. Well, let's go hit the Florida Keys. It no, nope, can't have that. We got we got to figure out a path for this intent to just disappear, man. Psalms 41. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. And thou wilt not deliver him until the, until the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing. Thou wilt make all his bed in his sickness. I said, Lord, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul. 
for I have sinned against thee. Mine enemies speak evil of me. When shall he die and his name perish? And if he come to see me, he speaketh vanity. His heart gathereth iniquity to itself. When he goeth abroad, he telleth, telleth it. All that hate me whisper together against me. Against me do they devise my hurt. An evil disease, say thee, cleaveth fast unto the hem. And now that he lieth, he shall rise up no more. Yea, mine own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, have lifted up my, my, his heel against me. But thou, O Lord, be merciful unto me, and raise me up, and, and that I may requite them. By this I know that thou favorest me, because mine enemy doeth not triumph over me. And as for me, thou upholdest me in my integrity, and settest me before thy face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, from everlasting and to everlasting. Amen and amen. God bless you all. I hope I hope we don't have any any further problems from this thing. I mean, it's going back and forth. I know, but it, if you ask me, it's getting more refined. I think it's going to be a wobble. That's why I keep showing this path right here. I think it's going to be a wobble by the Jamaica, and that's going to be a path to the Yucatan, and do a sharp turn, possibly like like Wilma might have done. But I'm not going to say it's like Wilma. I think it's going to be weakening quickly. I think the cold front's going to knock a lot of power out of it. At least that's what I'm praying on. God bless you all. I hope you all have a great night. I appreciate y'all watching the video. Do me a favor. Like it, guys. Uh, share it to your friends. Let them know what the update says, man. God bless you all. All glory does go to God. Amen.